All right, good morning, guys. It is October 1st, opening day of Colorado antelope season uh, this year, 2022. So uh, I got a tag for this is a north unit, and then Dad's hunting a unit south of here. So I got a buck. I'm in a great big, just one continuous pasture right now, and there's about two or three different bucks in here. We're after one specifically, but it's just a lot of good kind of rolling terrain. I took a buck in here a couple years ago. Oh, did you get it? Yep. Did you get it? You want him? Yep. Stay on. Oh, he's down. We're going for a little bit bigger one than that one because he was really old and wore down. This one's a little bigger than the one that you just watched me take a couple years ago. Um, but we're just gonna, well, I'm by myself this morning, but it's just about to crack daylight. Um, and I'm just gonna ease down the side of this fence here, this fence line, go all the way down, check if he's there. If not, I'm walking straight into the wind, so I'm gonna come back and make a big loop down, and I'm gonna kind of circle this whole pasture afoot this morning and see what we can find. So that's the plan. So stay tuned, and here we go. down this fence get a little bit closer look at them and see if see if it's him or not they're just working down through this valley right now they're actually going to the next um, valley over the next ridge but I think they're gonna come up through here so well they were coming along here pretty good and I don't know if I bumped them long story short they got spooked something I don't know if it's me up here or not they kept looking down that draw and they looped way out they went up and they cut into this pasture I think so that's a neighbor's property I'm trying to get permission on it just in case the shot presents itself but I'm actually gonna drop 
back and loop way out around because they just run at a pretty good click. But I think they got out in here where they wanted to be because they've been acting like they wanted to come out in here. So I'm going to drop. I don't know if it's him. At one point it did look like it's him, but he's just so far to tail. It's too hard. So we're going to drop back and go around here kind of at an angle and see if we can cut him off maybe and get a better look at least. So. Well, I just found out what happened. There was a coyote down in that draw when I come up out of here. I'm trying to get around here to see if I can cut the antelope off. He's still standing right back there watching me about five, six hundred yards away. So that makes me feel a little bit better that I wasn't the one that scared him. And uh, hopefully they'll settle down once they get out in here. Yeah, he's still just standing back on that on that hill over there. Hopefully they've got around and calmed down some. And maybe I can get in and get a better look at that buck. Alright, just found him again. But now the cows are spooking him. These cows are going crazy that I walked up here. The antelope are they're, they're right over this ridge into the next bowl. Hopefully they've just seen the cows and they don't get too nervous. But I need to get to the top of this ridge and just get pop up here. Wind's good if the cows will just settle down and shut up. And if it wasn't for coyotes or cows, I'd probably have them killed by now. But we'll slip up here and see how it goes. over the ridge right where I can make a stalk but I can just see the top of his head and his horns. The does are all the way over but I'm just real nervous right now about making a stalk and him seeing me over the top of there. If not, if he'd go over I'd make a run right up there to that soap weed. Oh, I gotta get, get a little bit better position here so I don't know what they're gonna do. We'll see here in a minute. There's a little enough of a ridge right here. I'm gonna slip right up to there. Once I slip up to there, I ought to be within 250, I'd imagine. I think it'll work. Oh. They just dropped down into a real big draw where I can finally make a stalk. So if I can get up to this hill, I think they're going they're going right back to where I seen them right at daylight. I think they'll go down in there. And it's a really good spot to get a shot, and the wind will be good. Hopefully this works.
saw him tip over. The does are going across right there. I think I saw him tip over. I'm gonna go up there and check. Uh, my ribs are hurting so bad from crawling. So let me get up here and check him out and I'll let you guys know how it goes. So, all right guys, so I just switched over from the big camera GoPro here and I'm walking up here. I think I saw him tip over and all the does run out. So I'm just kind of going ready. He ran up. I was shaking pretty hard due to that ribs hurting. But let me, I think I seen him. Let me glass up here real quick. Right there. Yeah, he's down up there. Oh, okay. He's down. Got him. I've been I've been within 100 yards of him for 30 minutes probably. Had a couple opportunities, but one time he was skylined, and then the rest was mainly my ribs were shaking so bad I had to get just right. And I was still pretty shaky when I took the shot, but camera's on him, so I'm gonna gather this stuff up and we'll go up here and take a look at him. So we do got him down. I'm just wore out and I didn't crawl that far, but it was pretty painful. We'll get this stuff picked up and we'll head up there. Well, guys, this is him. He uh, wasn't no ground shrinkage on this one, luckily. I've been watching him since, uh, been scouting him, seen him once scouting. The landowner's been watching him too. Uh, and we talked about him quite a bit. But there's been another buck and, and a couple other antelope running around out here. And they've been rutting, so they're changing up a lot of their regular patterns. I seen this buck and his does come out of this valley this morning. I was right up here on this ridge, on this fence line, and watched them come up out of there right after daylight. Tried to put a stalk on them, and they busted out of here, and actually I thought it was me, but a coyote come up out of the bottom there after they left. So I'd circled around, made a big loop, and I found them again. From there, stalked them for, I think it's about 11 right now, and it's probably eight. Like, so it's probably been three hours I've been tailing kind of right behind them. Finally, they come down off of here, basically made a big loop right back to where they were this morning and come up on this bench. And, but on their way here, they drop down and come up this uh, draw here. And while I was in that draw, I come off that, that big bench over there and drop down by them trees. Ended up slipping up right below them. Got set up, self-filming the day, and, and he eventually pushed a doe kind of right over the hill. And actually, the rest of the doe started working that way, and he ended up walking, and I probably shot him at probably 80. I don't know if he is 100 or not. He might have been 100 yards. I had a horse accident five days ago. One flipped over backwards on me and my ribs have been hurt pretty bad. Uh, so I was pretty sore every time I tried to crawl. Dad's coming to help me out. He was actually on his way back to town. And I'm going to go back and get my pickup. And we'll come down here and get him taken care of. Dad come and kind of saved me there. We was, we was able to ease a pickup out to him, quarter him up, and he's in the back now on my pickup. So that wraps it up. The wind's picked up and my tag is punched. So dad still has a tag and hopefully we make a good video out of that one. Also, you can see um, we are starting to work our way into the apparel deal. So we have some stuff in and we're working on getting that available to sell. And then if you're kind of liking what you're seeing, I'll let you know when that's officially um, when we're ready to start shipping out and everything. So keep an eye on that and we'll try to keep you updated there, but we do have some apparel starting to come in. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video and hopefully dad gets one down here in the next couple days. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Be sure to hit like and subscribe and uh, we're gonna keep hunting all fall and winter long. So we'll see you then.